Hello and welcome to this video on creating a late submission or an extenuating circumstance form submission Dropbox for Turnitin. I'm going to start by creating a standard Dropbox using add an activity or resource, Turnitin and I'll select add. I'm going to give it a title, leave the summary and I'm going to choose to have it as a file submission only. I'm going to leave it as one standard part and I'm going to leave the dates as they are. You'll notice the due date is the 28th of October. What I'm now going to do is choose Restrict Access and restrict this box which is the normal submission box for the students with a date option. So I'm going to do date until, so I'll drop the box down from and to until and change it to the 28th of October which is when the due date is meant to take place and set it to 12 o'clock lunchtime. You'll notice there's a little eye to the left of the word date. If you click this, it will put a little line through it. What that means is as soon as the condition is met, it will hide the resource that is there. So if I save and return to course, there will be a Dropbox for Turnitin created for the students to submit their work until the 28th of October. Otherwise, the condition says it will be hidden from the students. I'm now going to create a second Turnitin Dropbox. And I'm going to call this Artifact 1 Late and ECF Submissions. I'm going to change it to the same conditions as the previous box with a file upload only, only one part. I would now change these dates to match that of late submissions. So from the 28th of October, and then set the due date to be approximately two weeks after that and then set the post date again to match the university regulations for getting work back returned to the student and then I'm going to also choose restrict access again I'm now going to add another restriction this time again for date and I'll do it from date from the 28th of October. So this will now only be viewable after the 28th of October at 11.30 in the morning. If you don't click the I and save and return to course, this box will be visible to the students. They just won't be able to access it. It will appear as a grayed out resource for them. So it tells the student that it will be available from the 28th of October. Now Artifact 1 will become hidden as of the 28th of October at 12 o'clock. The sensible thing to do is make Artifact 1's ECF and late submission box hidden during the criteria as well. So I'd go to Restrict Access and select the I option next to the date restriction. Save and return to course. And what will happen is Artifact 1, ECF and Late Submissions will not appear until half past 11. Ideally, I should have set the times to be 11.30 for Artifact 1 to be available until and then make 12 o'clock available for the other submission so they don't overlap. Thank you very much for watching this particular video.